Good day, everyone. Hanging out here, Gilbert, Arizona, Premium Coach Group, high noon. I wanna say it's almost 95 degrees, but I'm gonna get this beautiful Magna Country Coach video shot for you guys first. And then I'm gonna go do my other videos inside where it's much cooler than it is out here in the sun. And I don't got a squint from the sun. But here we have for 199,000, 2006 country coach 42 foot magna gonna have a c13 in it for five and a quarter horse as i said 42 foot price asking 199 really nice condition this coach i don't really have i've walked around it i haven't seen really any checking it does look like it has had some paint rework done on it and 3m clear pulled off the front and the front end all cleaned up but really good presentation on this coach. Beautiful unit. It's got these nice fresh Michelins up here in the front. Those look like to be date coded 2019. So those are going to be pretty fresh up there. And then back here in the back. See if we can find you a quick date code on those. So 2018 on that. And then a 2020 on there. So it looks like we've got some fresh new shoes on this bad boy nice shiny paint just got an exterior detail looks really nice but i just want to kind of give you guys a view of it with all the rooms in and everything but let's get this tour started i'll get all these bay doors open for us real quick got all the bays open looks like we do have a bay entertainment tv up here in bay one with the old sharp original control box up there on the top and then i'm sure sharp tv there so that could probably use modernizing slide tray there for a full pass through gonna be 100 percent transparent still need to get a little krylon to clean up on this rust but it's only surface dress not extreme looks like we've got an additional fresh water heater ah, fresh water tank shoved here in midship so that'll give you some more fresh water capacities and then you've got your lp tank here a little 13 gallon one now that's only going to run your cooktop then you're going to have your engine start batteries back here. Still needs a little bit of detailing there. Be 100% transparent. A little detailing still needs to be going on here. You're going to have that big cat C13 in here. Nice fresh. Now as I said, this hasn't been Krylon rebuild or anything. Just a little bit of surface rust here. Not bad by any means. So it's still really good coach. And that side doesn't have any rust going through here. I mean, I've literally on east coast coaches seen this shield completely rusted through so really nice coach beautiful rear cap here of course it's gonna have this side will have fake awning faces on this side it'll have full patio awnings on the other side at least one side mount radiator of course nice basic fiberglass style plumbing bay here easy accesses to your knife valves get your black tank flushes some water out here so on and so forth got that fresh water Reel here, that additional fresh water tank mounted there in the midway. Smaller aqua hot here, that'll have a 10 gallon supplemental water heater that'll be mounted inside to go with that. And there's that slide tray there and then that full pass through there. Have up here in the very front, you're gonna have your front systems. It's gonna have your chassis components in here for your relays, so on and so forth. And then, generator full sliding mask now as i said i'll cover it one more time asking price of 199 it looks like we got about 117,000 miles on it so it's gonna have a little bit of miles on it but still a really good looking coach let's go ahead and get a tour of the inside of this real quick and we'll show it to you with the rooms in so you got an idea of how much room you do have in this coach with all the slide rooms in so lots of room here a good 18 to 20 inches here in between this table this does pull out if i'm not mistaken nope slides forward in there and i, I want to say it pulls out but it's just latched and i don't want to yank on it knock these uh beautiful plastic glasses over we'll come back here i do have all the lights off still i'll go ahead and get those turned on here in a minute and then here it is with the two rear slides both in so as you can see those do touch when the room's in here full exterior paint on the ends of the slide rooms with the graphics and everything nice radius shower enclosure and then of course you got your residential refrigerator but 
let me go ahead get these rooms ran out for you guys and we'll get you the full tour of the inside of this bad boy all right all the rooms are out as you can see now super spacious got that full room out over there of course got this galley out over here lots of room nice beautiful ceiling treatment with of course that drop down system so you get your air conditioners through here and then you would get through this air conditioner through here and then that very rear panel back there here we are mid then the bedroom now area of course got this little sink here that's going to be the way that is on the 42 footer let's see if it's inside of here yeah so here we've got a 42 foot monet Man magna coach number 65 42 m is going to be the unit number now as you can see this one's kind of peeling off of the other one what that is is during production say the radio went bad and we had to change it out the serial numbers wouldn't have matched so we would have changed that sticker so that's kind of why you'll see this with this backer still on here and one serial number sheet thrown over the top of another one kind of a production deal there got the 110 volt vanity lights there got these power blinds back here in the back got another one there i think you may have a couple foggy windows i'm going to be 100 percent transparent these coaches by this point have usually had a lot of those done and repaired, but some of them haven't. So we'll get back up to the front, kind of giving you that quick tour of the inside of it, the way things looked. And we'll just kind of give you the good thrill walk through up here in the very front. We'll start up here with the stock TV. So it's going to have the sharp factory TV in it. And then over here, you're going to have a map box antenna controller here. And then your, uh, amplifier for your local channels see uh vcr up there in the factory location now this particular coach has an aftermarket pioneer display here and then all the audio video equipment in here still all factory i was gonna throw a stick at it i would say i even put all that stuff in there if i didn't one of my employees did because I was the area manager of the electrical department when it was done. But special items like this particular product here, I would have installed it because I actually took it apart so I could have a small hole here instead of a large hole. It was one of the integration designs that I worked with with the engineers to do. But enough of those little squirrely details. Stock head unit here in the dash. Always replace that out with a new halo or something like that. New nice big fixed screen there vehicle management system by silverleaf there in the bottom integrated smart wheel controls there storage box up here on this side and then a couple map boxes up here to be able to keep your maps maybe even a pistol i've seen one of them in that cabinet before and then we'll make our way back you're going to have your house display here for your silverleaf it's going to show all your different options here we've got a blinking yellow light because we don't have any fresh in here basically and then the temp, temp sensor is reading zero because it's a little bit off. But that's kind of the silver leaf there. Now these are going to be all your power blind controls. Those roof awning controls and then your window awning controls because you're going to have all automated for that. Front window drape, fresh water drain, the air tank water purge with the ignition on, HWH reset. Things of that nature there. Right here behind the driver's seat you're going to have a couple of drawers. And I can't tell you how many times I've seen all the remotes in that drawer. It's just a very common spot. We'll have another drawer here on the very bottom. Looks like we found the uh, factory RTI remote. It probably doesn't work anymore, but that wouldn't be surprising. Got a subwoofer amplifier mounted right here. And that's going to run that subwoofer back there for the home theater system. That kind of covers it. It looks like it was sold by those lazy guys out there in Florida at Lazy Days. Because it's got the Crown Club mat in it. Nice addition there. Nice little couch here. This is going to flip out, if I'm not mistaken, into a jackknife. So just like so. And then flip it up like this. Yeah, I never seem to get these right when I've got the camera in my hand. But flip that up. Grab this. Shove that back in. And then boom. Got that stowed. This is going to be an air mattress. So this will flip out like a conventional old hide-a-bed. couple stages. And then an air mattress in there. Cool little dinette here. Now this does slide forward and aft. As you can see, I can do the aft. I'm not going to yank on it because I don't want these plastic 
cups falling over but you can actually pull that out and get a few more inches there storage there storage under there storage there nice stained glass option in this particular coach so up here you'll have storage going all the way across and then coming over to here you'll have a curio cabinet located here with storage up and low some of these coaches did have a tv option right here in the upper curio this particular one just has the front television and then that storage down here on the very bottom full galley area here looks like it's got that coma cabinet with some of the glassware in there for that sink top covers are all here the uh, oven or the uh, propane cooktop cover still all intact everything here counters look like they're in pretty good condition i mean they could always use a little repolish by this time looks like it's still got that factory advantium microwave in there it does come with the metal trays and stuff like that so if you want to use it as a convection oven you can looks like we do have the recipe book which is really cool for these avantium ovens some great desserts and whatnot in there storage here storage here a little fluorescent light going on under the counter got the one inch little blinds here so you can actually see out of your galley simply by turning this it's going to be this one and your toilet room blind will not be automated those are going to be the only two 42 footers so you've got this small area right here and then this cabinet over here for some more storage and then some cabinet area down below residential man and eh, and mana refrigerator got your air conditioner controls as you can see it's a nice warm 96 degrees in this coach already for me today tile heated floors and then radius shower enclosure there toilet room here with the sink nice to be able to do that and then you've got your flapper toilet yep if i'm not mistaken here and then you got your old fart fan up there on the ceiling some cabinets here to be able to store your mountain money another spot right here and then even some in front of you and then there's that fan control for that fantastic fan that one inch little blind that we were talking about earlier there and then your radius shower enclosure some nice little storage just past the shower enclosure so that's really convenient i like that be able to Put some towels so on and so forth in there looks like we do have a heat exchanger down here at the very bottom of it and then these cabinets here will be your 110 volt from your shore cord or your gen and then your 110 volt coming out of your inverter and then your 12 volt fuses down here for your house systems such as lights and ceilings slide room controller there so we've made it to the end of the tour almost hey let's check out these pocket doors and see what we get for mirrors and whatnot. Ooh, yep, floor to ceiling mirrors. In case you wanna get all glamored up for the evening. Beautiful two stage pocket door there. And then we'll have the single stage door here. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this one has a mirror also. So two mirrors here, depending on which doors you have closed or if you want full privacy and have all the doors closed, then you would get that option. Let's go ahead and slide these back in, flip this handle lever here up and get that locked in. So that way they move the coach. They're not messing up the doors. Little bedroom audio system here. So that way you can have a stereo back here in the back. I've taken this out, done some double bins and stuff in here, which is kind of cool. That way you can have Bluetooth in the bedroom and everything. Storage up here at the top. Uh, hydro hot controls here got that electric switch when you turn that on that's going to change some solenoids and it'll actually integrate the water heater that is located down here behind this panel so you'll have an additional 10 gallon water heater that's located there on all these 05 and 06 and even the uh, older body style 04s um, storage here adjustable shelves got those blind controls as i was speaking of like in the front some storage here in this end column and then i think you even do end up no so pure access there to be able to get to the wires going in and out of the room and the plumbing and so on and so forth four nice drawers down here this cabinet here it's gonna have your little mini hamper in it looks like we do have an extra hamper bag there which is really nice and then we've got the storage aft of the tv Looks like somebody's come in and put an aftermarket TV in here. If you did want to go with a little bigger TV or more modern, you just notch out the very bottom of this along here and then measure your width and you can actually make your TV hang down a little lower, but you get rid of all this and you can fill the whole thing with screen. 
it's kind of nice back there now we'll have a washer dryer combo the old splendy brought to you by westland sales up in uh, vancouver washington actually in portland or Clackamas, somewhere up in the Portland area, Westland Sales. It's going to be who did all these Splendies. They're the importer to the United States. For that, we'll go ahead and close that up. Looks like we've got a queen-size bed in this 42-footer, if I was going to guess. You could maybe pull that nightstand out of there and modify it, get a little bigger bed if you needed that. Full rear closet here. Lights up here in the very top of it. It's even got the... Uh, ironing board that slides in where the cutting board in the galley goes so you pull the cutting board out slide this into there and then boom now you've got a ironing board there access to that plumbing for the washer dryer we'll come over to this other side got that factory safe located there and then another light up here in the ceiling to be able to light that closet up we'll go ahead and kick these both off got a, looks like about 60 inches worth of bar length in this coach totaling up some nice cabinets over the top here and then we've got a couple lights up here and all right after a dead battery we had just gotten done going through that closet we'd went over these overheads we do have some storage here just forward of the bed so you've got a cabinet here with another 60 uh, 60 another 18 inches of bar length or so if you pull these shelves out of there so that way you could hang up some more wardrobes and then some nice storage down here at the very bottoms so i think that's uh the complete tour on this beautiful 2006 42 foot country coach magna um i love it asking price 199 needs a few little things dialed in that i'm sure chad and his crew could get taken care of before you picked up delivery on this and get cruise in america so everyone i really really appreciate you taking the time to subscribe we're moving along up there cruising away I'm going to try to get you more content. I got a trip down here today, did a little Lexa inspection on a coach, then I had to come over to see Chad and get you guys some more content and get you some tours. This is a real good coach, nice stock representation of one of these without being all changed out with different cabinets and so on and so forth. But till next time, everybody, just be safe and have a great day. Bye-bye now.